Spherical metaphor, spherophor, for geoscope, multidimensional data visualization, by Thomas J. Greenbaum. A presentation to the 5th International Symposium on Digital Earth, June 5, 2007, dedicated to the memory of R. Buckminster Fuller. This technology demonstration offers an innovative method for visualizing multidimensional data on a half-sphere full-dome geoscope. The intent is to realize the geoscope vision of R. Buckminster Fuller as stated in his critical path. With the geoscope, humanity would be able to recognize formerly invisible patterns and thereby to forecast and plan in vastly greater magnitude than heretofore. The demonstration begins with a fully transportable articulating framework for a digital projector array. All components are fully contained in a small package. The articulating framework is securely folded. The framework contains eight projectors attached inside elbow joints. First, wheeled legs unfold to a flat position. The unfolded legs establish a stable base. A view from below shows the wheeled legs halfway unfolded. A servo-powered actuator raises the frame up prior to unfolding. The wheeled legs allow the frame to expand outward as it unfolds. The frame may attain a variety of configurations for different applications. We see it now unfold to a flat arrangement with projectors pointing downwards. The system is ready to project still and moving images onto the floor. A large Dymaxium map is placed on the floor beneath the projectors. Buckminster Fuller's geoscope is one step closer to reality. The final geoscope transformation is shown with the floor removed for clarity. The frame folds once more and lifts up the Dymaxia map, which also folds into an icosahedron. Buckminster Fuller's geoscope is fully realized on the scale of a basketball court. Multi-dimensional data visualization on a full dome will now be demonstrated. The dome is in place and ready for novel outside-in projection. Only six projectors are needed. All can be driven by a single powerful PC with multi-core processors. Six projectors cover the dome with a seamless high-resolution image. Each projector covers an equal area and has an identical UV map. The UV map is very close in shape to a 16 to 9 screen area. The outside-in dome projection system provides an exciting platform for displaying Earth data.
What other types of data can we display on the dome? What visual metaphors will we use? What coordinate system makes sense? Spherophore is a trademark word, being a contraction of two words, spherical and metaphor. A spherophore uses the spherical coordinate system. The spherophore departs from the way that spreadsheets and charts use mostly rectangular, flat display formats. As an example of a spherophore, the Buckminster Fuller Institute Design Revolution Project Library is given a project tracking interface. The Design Science Planning Process taken from BFI.org. A sphere four is applied to the process diagram and then applied to the dome. A sphere four for the design science planning process. The sphere four uses spherical coordinates to visualize multi-dimensional data. Phi, zenith angle or latitude if you will, represents the planning phase. The choose problem situation phase is close to zenith. The develop artifacts phase is close to the horizon. BFI tracks a large number of projects with design artifacts ranging from microcosmic nanostructures to macrocosmic global infrastructure solutions. From fullerenes and nanotubes, to energy efficient dwellings, to a space elevator spanning between Earth and space, a powers of 10 scale ringing the equator allows the macro to micro interdependencies of components and systems to be visually detected thus supporting Buckminster Fuller's principle of synergetic advantage. In this way, theta, azimuth angle or longitude, represents the macro to micro scale of the design artifact. This was an example of a sphere four for the Buckminster Fuller Institute Design Revolution Project Library what data would you put on the dome? What sphere for would you use 